Right. Take it too, Black. Right, someone says to me yesterday, apparently there's been a wedding. Someone says to me there's going to be a wedding today. One of these, um, one of these things is getting married. So uh, I've managed to find something online. Somebody's broken it down today, but uh, I'm not even going to get into this. I'm too close. So we'll let somebody else do it. But it's it's all bullshit. It's all bogus. This is the nonsense that we're dealing with. Ah, uh, yes, it's the royal wedding. We're all supposed to care. We're all supposed to bow down to the bloodline elites, the royal family. I mean, can you believe the amount of coverage that this nonsense gets? I can't believe Look it. Look at the amount of people lined up to just see them walk by them. And these people don't realize that they're mind-controlled slaves, right? Dicks. Any person bowing down to another person it's has a, a real mental problem. <laughs> the only person anyone should bow to is Jesus Christ. Well, Jesus Christ. You can bow down to Jesus Christ, to Christos, but not to Osirapis. The king of kings. For people to bow to other people then, and then say, well, I'm not an idol worshiper. I don't worship these people. I don't worship Prince Harry and all these people. No. No, I'm just standing here outside for hours on end waiting for a carriage to drive by for five seconds so I can get a glimpse of Harry and his wife on their wedding day. <laughs> Oh, please. <laughs> I mean, this is what the world is doing in their spare time. Oh, right? my God. I actually heard that people were getting up at four in the morning. No. To watch this nonsense. No. Am I the only one who's, like, completely retired from attending weddings? No, I'm with you, bro. That's one of the good things about being isolated. You know, there's negatives of being away from people and kind of closing yourself away from all the people you grew up with because you can't... It's pretty good. Get away from the dicks. And deal with the lunacy and the stuff that they believe and the fake conversations yep. about po politics and yep. world issues because they're yep. getting sucked into it. And they're flipping religion and their culture. You know, the feminist movement. and This uh, movement and that movement. Thing after thing. One of, the, one of the benefits of that is that you never have to attend a wedding again. Right? Because weddings are just like the worst thing in the world to go to. Right. Knowing the right minds should ever get married if they can avoid it. If you know what marriage is, right, if you look into it and do your research, you realize that it is to have and to hold. This is when the patriarchy took over from the matriarchy and the man took over from the woman and started oppressing the woman. To have and to hold was when the man took away the land that the woman used to have in this ceremony. It's satanic to do with Saturn, and the ring of Saturn, and the ring and the finger going in the ring represents the penis going into the vagina. If you want to do more of the research about the sex cult called Freemasonry, go right ahead. The only person who is excited to be there is the two people being married, and they think that everybody else is, oh, they're... Oh, the priest as well, because he's getting money. They're going to enjoy the flowers on the table and the cuisine that they've picked. And the music that there, nobody cares. The whole time, all anyone's doing is looking at their watch because they want to leave. Damn right. Sorry, I just wanted to rant about that. I should do a video about weddings. Talk about the biggest scam in American history. People putting hundreds of thousands of dollars. In American history in the world history. No one should get married, right? The only good thing about marriage is that it ends in divorce. Into one day that nobody. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, we're going to skip this ad. Uh, I'm going to get to this guy's channel. Uh, who is he? Someone called a call for an uprising. That's the guy you want to deal with. All right? So if you want to hear some real stuff, sometimes it gets a bit aggressive, I think, but it gets the point across. He knows what he's talking about. Of dollars. 
into one day yeah. that nobody cares about and nobody remembers. Yep. And the bride you... and groom don't care after it's over. Mm-hmm. But nonetheless, we had the royal wedding. Oh, we had a who's who of elites showing up at the wedding. But let's just start with the basics, right? I mean, when you get married, the listener, anybody out there, when you get married, or if you already are married or have been married, was it your dream to get married <laughs> on the esoteric black and white tiles? I mean, boy, you know, they had to make sure it was there, right? I mean, they literally are doing their vows right on the black and white tiles. But that must be a massive coincidence, massive, that they picked this church out, this Masonic church with the black and white. It must be, right? It's just me. I'm seeing all the negative things. I'm seeing all of these <laughs> these things over and over. I, mean, I must be making them up. I must be shilling. Right? I mean, there it is for you. There's your black and white Masonic floor at the royal wedding. They're getting married right on it. Wow. And if you don't think Prince Harry is a Freemason, think again. I mean, I've covered this before. The hidden hand. Look at Prince Harry and his hidden hand. Remember, these poses they take, people just, they don't think about anything, right? They think, oh, they're just like, oh, here's a picture. They're posing. It's deliberately, strategically done, right? It's like if, if all of a sudden 50 cameras were in your face, would you start picking your nose? You'd be like, oh, hold on, I got a booger. Let me pick it real quick. I mean, well, we know, we know some individuals who would probably do that, if you catch my drift, but would you start picking your nose? Would you start itching yourself when all the cameras go up? Or would you pose? Smile. And he deliberately does the Masonic hidden hand here with Melania. And it's not the only time. He does it all the time. Look, hidden hand, hidden hand, hidden hand. He just likes to hide his hand. Maybe his hand smells really bad, and he wants to do everybody in the room a favor because he's been itching his crack, so he wants to hide it in his coat. But he wants to leave the devil horns. You know, the, I mean, you can't make this stuff up. So anyway, what a surprise that Prince Harry decides on his wedding day to get married on the Masonic tiles. I mean, I called that before it happened. As soon as I saw, I didn't even know that the Royal Wedding was this weekend, but then I saw something on the news or something yesterday like they were promoting it at like four in the morning. And the first thing I said to myself was, oh, they're definitely getting married in a Masonic church with black and white tiles. And there it was, there it was, right? There's some things that are constant that you'll be able to find and see. The tiles is one of them. So. They have their Masonic wedding, and then who do, they, who do they decide to invite, right? These are the kinds of things I think about, and I just go, does anyone think? Like, how are these people affiliated with each other? How are they friends, right? It's like, do you think if I got married tomorrow, that suddenly um, I would be inviting YouTube, you know, YouTubers that I don't know, like, or like Logan Paul would be at my wedding, or like other YouTube truthers who just be at my wedding because, hey, I'm a YouTuber, they're a YouTuber, they'll be there. Right? <laughs> so then why is it that when something like this happens, just a who's who of Hollywood elite just show up? What is the connection? Well, we know what the connection is, right? We know about the bloodlines and how these people are all related. It's all intertwined. But out of the common people just go, huh, why is George Clooney at the royal wedding? What is the connection there? Why? Because... George Clooney has spoken to the UN. I mean, is that the connection? Why is Oprah Winfrey there? The demon herself, Oprah Winfrey, (laughs) is invited to the royal wedding. (laughs) Serena Williams, right? I mean, no coincidence. Have you ever seen the videos of Serena and her sister, Venus, when they were kids? And yes, I understand for those of you who want me to call them Mr. and Mr. Williams. (laughs) <laughs> at such a young age, you know, hanging around the likes of President Reagan. <laughs> yeah, because every kid who's good at tennis is going to be hanging around the president. Oh, boy. Right? I mean, is there a kid in your town who's a tennis wizard and suddenly, uh, you know, President Trump's going to be in town and watch, you know, some five-year-olds play tennis because they're twin sisters? I mean, or twin brothers? I mean, give me a break. So you get all these elites, all of them. Just showing up at the wedding because they're all connected, they're all friends. Just we're all supposed to just believe, hey, you know, Prince Harry and George Clooney have a lot in common. Uh, you know, they're both anti-gun, right? George Clooney, one of the guys pushing the uh, the anti-gun stuff in the March for Our Lives, even though he's portrayed almost in every movie as shooting somebody with a gun. 
I mean, just the most hypocritical nonsense you'll ever see in your life. But now they've got a lot in common. It's nothing to do with bloodlines or a relation to one another. Give me a break. And then, of course, we were blessed that they decided to turn on Queen Elizabeth. And I don't mean sexually turn on. I mean, they actually activated her. <laughs> her clone, if that's what some of you want to believe. Which, I mean, who knows at this point. I just think it might just be a dead corpse. But they brought out the Queen. And obviously they brought her. I know she's got to be there. But what an honor to have her there. And all the other scum of the scum. Oh, yeah. Of the royal family. Oh, yeah. In the same place at the same time. Oh, yeah. All the princes. Right? Oh, yeah. And one of the creepy things is that the media did this massive cover. Like, I saw People Magazine or whatever you call it, People.com, pushing the children, the children of these people. You know, like, they're just showing them in dresses and stuff. Like, it's just like, who, like, does anyone care what a two-year-old's wearing to a wedding? I mean, apparently, right? They're probably just preparing us for, you know, who these kids actually are going, who they are, you know, what they're going to be in the future. So, the royal wedding takes place. I know everybody's thrilled and excited. I know all of you have future plans to get married on the esoteric black and white tiles. You probably have, right, the Baphomet there as well. I mean, you know, just more of the same. Every music video they show the, you know, people are like, oh, the Freemasons. The funniest thing I think about the exposed videos I do on Freemasonry is that it, the Freemasons flock to my videos. Like, it's amazing how many people are actually watching, and you know, and of course people who pretend they don't watch. Uh, but they just flock to it, and they're like, this guy doesn't know anything about Freemasonry. He he has no idea. Oh, oh, okay. That's a great argument. Why don't you dispel the stuff I talk about then? How, how about uh, Albert Pike's teachings you want to talk about? No, they're just like, oh, he, he doesn't know. This is not what we do and what we do. so defensive. Boy, I mean, if I was a Freemason, okay, and I'd rather have my eyes cut out and, and my spleen ripped out than be a Freemason. But if I was hypothetically one and I wasn't a truther or whatever and I wasn't awake and I was in this embarrassment of a movement, which still, even if all those things happen, would be... Nearly impossible, because to me, being a part of frats and these types of groups, I mean, you talk about following the flock, you know, just being a zombie in a, in a flock. Uh, that's not how I've ever been built. But just say, hypothetically, I was in it, right? And somebody on YouTube and people were making allegations that we worship the devil. And we're supposed to believe that these people are like, the devil, the devil's not real. Satan doesn't exist. Then my response would be, who cares what they say? Well, why do I care? It's such a ridiculous accusation. But clearly it bothers them because their secrets are out. From Prince Harry all the way down. These people are all royal bloodlines. Freemasonry is connected and rooted in all of it. Does it mean that every one of them, you know, they're parts of different secret societies. Obviously, the royal family is above Freemasonry, right? But they still need to have those esoteric black and white tiles there to show their allegiance. Pretty funny, right? Married on the black and white tiles. I mean, huh. while millions of people stand outside to watch them drive by in a car or on a, in a carriage, spending their day doing that, and all these celebrities from Hollywood show up, but we're supposed to believe that that's not a coincidence. They're just friends. The rich hang out with the rich, and the poor hang out with the poor, and, oh, it's not a big deal that they're affiliated and associated with each other. The biggest, highest paid actor in Hollywood and George Clooney, the biggest fraud out there, and the scum of the earth and Oprah? Yeah, <laughs> sure. And who, else, who knows what else was there? I mean, you know, this is just a glimpse at the people. What people didn't want to be seen. I'm sure the Obamas and all them were at the wedding, right? And maybe they were, I don't know. But I'm assuming they probably were. You know, because they're all just friends. Because, you know, that's how things work, huh? Give me a break. And thank you for listening to today's show. I hope you didn't have to endure this thing. I did not endure it. I just read articles on it. I would not sit through that and watch that. For any anything. Yeah. And thank you again. God bless all of you and your families. God damn right. For anybody who, who watched this wedding, stop it.